how we doing guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go through the patch notes for the 11th of december 2019 and right off the bat as you can see with this image here valkyrie is now available on xbox uh, she's also released with her awakening at the same time because this is the last patch we're gonna get until january next year uh, this is more due to Xbox being on holiday for their certification process, which means there's going to be no more patches, unfortunately, for a little while. However, they did give us the awakening for this class, and I'm expecting some big things coming out in January from PA. Well, I'll say expecting, I'm hoping. But one massive update, in my opinion, that is very much needed is Alchemy Stones are finally out on Xbox. Now, I've watched a few guides on Alchemy Stones and I've done some research on Reddit. It seems a little bit confusing when I'm looking at it, but I'm sure I'll pick it up pretty quickly on the Xbox. And I'll make my own guide for you Xbox guys, uh, so you can follow what I'm doing there. If you're also like me, a bit confused, but you don't want to take the time to try and figure it out, I will get that guide up as soon as possible. Um, they've made some nice changes to Shining Medal of Honors. So this is now... Shining Medal of Honor is what you get when you participate in Node Wards. You can now finally exchange them for certain items. The Whale Tender Perch is actually really good. I like that for one for one. I'm probably going to be getting grabbing a few of those myself. I don't have any because I've sold all my uh, medals. But you can see here there's some nice items you can get. There's a 60 stack, but it requires 600. So that's quite hard to get 600. Um, Dandelion box 500, Kazaka sealed box 300, 50 stackers for 240, which isn't terrible. But there's a bunch of other stuff that you can get as well. Um, notably, stuff that I'll probably pick up is maybe some of the Valks. Most probably, I'm going to trade all my stuff in for loot scrolls, which you can see up here for 25. Uh, perfume is decent, whale potions are decent. If you need to top up on any auras to grab yourself a free dandy box, those aren't bad trading as well. Again, another well tendon elixir. This is the damage reduction version. This is another decent one. So instead of spending money on these things, I might just trade in these uh, seals for them. We'll see what will happen in the future, which one. I'm sure some of these are better value than others. And I'll be making another video if I feel that is necessary for these hand-ins in the future. But one of the biggest changes that I'm really happy to see PA make, because I don't even think they've made this change on uh, PC. I think this is an Xbox exclusive change, which is absolutely amazing. The fact that they've now finally added silver, combat EXP and skill EXP. I'll be doing some testing this week to see if the EXP is relevant. I'm assuming it's not going to be. And the money is not that much. Let's say it's 20 minutes per red battlefield. You do three, so it equals to one hour. If you win all three, you get 18 million. If you lose all three, you get 12 million and a combination of winning and losing you get between 12 and 18 million which isn't that great in terms of money but it's definitely going to incentivize people to be in rbf a lot more than they have been in the past because you got to remember you're getting these red seals as well which combined with crystals to sell for some extra money on the side too so it's actually pretty good the money isn't amazing but i think it's enough to get people queuing up uh, they've apparently changed it to a queuing system for rbf as well i'll be spending a lot of time in there because i really enjoy pvp and now that i'm also going to be getting money and not having to spend money to go to rbf i'll probably be spending a few hours in there every single day they've uh, made some changes to milk so if you milk cows uh they've changed the success of getting if you successfully milk a cow Instead of getting five, you're now going to get 10. And if you fail, instead of getting two, you're going to get four. So they've doubled the amount of milk that you can get. And they've also changed, they've doubled the gathering that you can get. The, the amount of milk you get, depending on your gathering skill, by two times. And in some cases, a little bit over two times as well, which is good. This is a good change if that is what you do. Um, Imperial Trading, another really good great update for the game they've removed that 10 minute cooldown on when you log into a server whether you're trading in fish or trading in food or alchemy items this is amazing i'm actually gonna be doing a lot more imperial trading with this new patch because of what i didn't like in the past is i had to make five six different items and that way that would guarantee that i can get it within one server swap i'll say five six it's like more like 
two to four different items is more accurate. And that would guarantee I'd get it in one server swap, but then I'd have to wait 10 minutes. And if you do less, then you've got to do multiple server swaps. And it's going to take you a few hours to do your trade-ins, which really wasn't worth it. So this is a really, really great change that I'm really happy they made. And it's a great quality of life improvement for the console. And other changes, they fixed an issue where the set effect was not being applied when equipping Helm's Destroyer Belt and Necklace of Sealed Magical Power. Fixed an issue where an abnormal amount of stamina would be displayed when using escape function on forest path wagons. Another issue where horses stopped moving when riding on the forest. Another issue where black stones could not be extracted from fishing boat decorations, masks, and wagon covers. And all LED potions have changed from white grade to blue grade. So that is the core of the patch notes, but there is a few other items that we'll be getting into in just a moment. So as we discussed earlier, Valkyrie is now an Xbox. She also comes with her awakening. And obviously when there's a new character, there's a leveling up event for that character. For, so for Valkyrie, when you get it to level 15, you get a 10 G gold bar and 10 armor stones, which isn't that much. Level 30 is 30, 10, uh, three 10 G gold bars. Again, not that much with 10 weapon stones. At 45, you get the sealed combat one day exp boost which gives you 100 exp exp which lasts for one day with five 10 g bars 10 g bars not not that great but the book is pretty good and at 55 you get five valks cries 100 g bar which isn't bad and 20 valks i'll probably get my valkyrie to 55 and i won't bother with 58 because in my opinion it takes too long to get to 58 if you have the ability to grind Archmans and Histria, you'll be getting Tungrad Earring or Tungrad Necklace drops at a faster rate than it would be getting a character 58 for that fine accessory box. But if you don't have that access, getting it to 58 is a great option to getting that fine accessory box. Three shards, three hards. We should see if a lot of people get their characters to 58 with all the login rewards that we have for fine accessory boxes and the current... Um, the current event that also gives semi fine accessory boxes for people we should hopefully see ogre rings dropping in price but this will also affect tongue rad earrings and to a lesser extent bassy belts and crescent rings um the second event is to fully complete your awakening to receive okay so you get an extra tw about 20 valks for uh, completing the awakening for valkyrie which is quite nice and you also get five weapon and armor stones, a sharp, a hard, a crossbow, and a memfrag. That's not terrible for just giving her a quick awakening. I'd probably even awaken her just to grab those extra items there. That's not a bad thing at all. And those are the main items for this event. Obviously, a hot time will continue, giving you 100% combat EXP buff with 30% skill EXP buff. That is still going to be happening, which is great. I hope they keep that forever but there is still more to come in this patch so there is now also a new seasonal event for christmas if we look here event one grandpa kron is coming to town um, during the winter season grandpa kron will ride his flying sled around the skies of velia Heidel, Calfion, Altanova, Valencia, Grana to drop special gifts for adventurers. All servers from December 11th maintenance to January 8th before maintenance will be affected by this event. So from now to first week of January. During the period, Grandpa Kron will be dropping gifts all around Black Desert World. These boxes will randomly appear across all servers. So as you're moving around, you find these boxes on the ground and if you open them, you get a chance of getting a Forest Fury, a Sharp, a Cronstone, a Heart, Magic Carpet, Elyon Tear, Whale Tendon Potions, Layla Petals, um, and then some cosmetic items, some hats, some Reindeer Horns, you can get some Snowman Hats, Fox Masks, a bunch of Christmas themed facial accessories, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's nothing too big. I don't think you'll find many items on the um, store getting affected by these drops. Forest Fury's already flooded the market and Sharps and Hards, there will just continue to be a good flow of Sharps and Hards on the market because of this, which is great for people that are trying to enhance items. So the second part is of this event is to build a snowman. 
So how to participate in Build a Snowman, there's five steps. First, you've got to accept the quest from a, lo from a character called Faustin, who you can find located in Velia, Heidel, Castle, and also over Valencia and Grana. You give this person one river, one river water, one three sea waters to receive a snowball. And at that point, you'd have to accept the second quest from Pauline. Pauline will ask you to put the event snowball into the snowman NPC. You then talk to Pauline again to receive one of the following event gifts, which can be a Kazaka sealed weapon box, a Kudan box, Nuva, Dandy, which is really good, Advice of Arcs 35 to 45, Black Magic Crystals, Combat EXP Scrolls, Skill EXP Scrolls, Leverto Bundles, Awakening Weapon Boxes, um, Azula, Scarlet Statue of Azula, some Music Box, Perfume Swiftness, Well Tender Elixir's Memory Fragments, Flagstones, and Armor Stones. This, by the looks of it, is going to be more of a memory fragment event. I'm going to imagine a lot of people are going to get memory frags from this. So we should see the price of memory frags drop during the next month if one of the main, um, if one of the main drops is memory fragments. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Event three, let it snow. So the event details is it's basically a login reward for staying logged in. After five minutes, you get one, one hour, you get two, two hours, you get three, and three hours, you get four. You can then exchange these with any skill instructor NPC to receive the following rewards. So depending on the number that you hand in, whether it's 10, 30, 50, you can get a different combination of rewards. I'd imagine most people are going to hold on for 150 to get the fine accessory box. Another fine accessory box, which is pretty crazy, you'll be receiving a lot of these in the next month. They should definitely be affecting the prices of all these accessories listed here, especially ogre rings, more than anything else, because they're pretty inflated at the minute. So that's pretty good. Um, if you want to hand it in for lower, um, lower rewards, you can get some memory frags for 10, um, a more memory frags for 30 with possible possibility of getting some concentrated armor and weapon stones for 50 you can get black magic crystals which is okay uh, but honestly i'd hold on for the 150 like most people will be doing and get the one of the big boy rewards and that is everything as of now for the latest update i uh, hope you guys enjoy enjoyed stay tuned in to find out more about alchemy stones a video will be coming on that as soon as i got it figured out myself all right guys you all have a good day and i'll catch you in the next video